Greetings, Commanders! It's Ryantium here, and today we are back once again in Stellaris Console Edition with the Galactic Record Keepers. Uh, that's right, you guys. So, in the last episode, we got some stuff done. We made first contact with a lot of other empires, not just the United Havariga Union, but we also figured out that the Tranquil um, Coalition down there and the Union are actually one of the same empires, but this one was the one that had a lost colony somewhere else in the galaxy. We made first contact with a hive mind down at the bottom of the galaxy, and then the industries right here. These ones are ruthless capitalists, which with our most likely um, friends going to be the Coalition as well as the Union. Now, at the current moment, the Union hates us. We don't know why. They're rivaled to us, but uh, we have positive relations with them. But I wish that, you know, maybe we would have a little bit more trust, you damn snails. Come on. So hopefully we're able to get them into, you know, some economic pacts, maybe into anything like that. That way we can just, you know, have friends. But we're also in the process of uplifting the primitive civilization on uh, Tistador 2. Now, they're almost done, thankfully. And then we will hopefully have ourselves a guaranteed ally in a federation that we can then build up with a, um, a trade league. And that'll be really, really great, honestly. So our planets are currently being, you know, outfitted and everything like that. We're working on, um, we're working on colonizing the planet inside of Scat. Uh, and the reason we're doing that is because our relic is currently active, the last bowel. So once that, that ship lands on the planet, we will then turn that planet into a size 20 Gaia world and it will be wonderful. But I have kind of a new thing that I want to do with these. Uh, since we are, since we have access, access to the one site that I wanted, um, I'm just going to pause it. And, or you can pause the, the video and, and read there, rather than me reading every single section of that. But, here we go. Anyone home? Same old, same old. So, a uh, negative 20% chance of a breakthrough, so that one's still kind of a bit difficult for us. Now, our economy could definitely be a bit better. If you ask me, we are in a bad position at the moment. Um, but, we do want to go ahead and grab this right there. There is a size 20 tomb world right there that we can also um, go and colonize eventually. Um, but we want to go ahead and grab the Grenier home system just like that. And we just need to work on our economy, honestly. We're, we're leeching food, we have like no energy income, our consumer good income is just garbage. And uh, looks like we have enlightened our people. And so now, did they just immediately... Pobelin Interstellar... Okay, no, 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 no. Divine Hovel Conclave. Okay, let's take a look at what these guys look like. They are spiritual seekers, fanatic xenophiles, and they are spiritualists, which is exactly what we are, correct? No, they're the opposite. So they're fanatic spiritualists and they're xenophiles, um, or we're fanatic spirit spiritualists and they're xenophile and xenophiles, and then they are fanatic xenophile spiritualists, which is fantastic. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll throw down a an envoy. Uh, let's go ahead and throw one of you there. There we go. They are our subsidiary, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they are, which means they'll be contributing 25% of their energy income and mineral income. Um, oh no, it's just it's just um, energy income, that's right. Uh, but, if we wanted to, do they have to be, yeah, they have to be independent in order to do that. So I think what we'll go ahead and do is, one, we will offer up a migration treaty. And uh, we'll also go for a trade deal, which gives us... I can never figure out how the heck to get down there. Uh, there we go. Which will give us 10 favors, just in case we need them. And we can go ahead and give them a, a head start with uh, minerals. And just give them a whole bunch of these. There we go. So we'll give them all of those minerals. We'll get that trade deal going. Then what we'll do is we will release our subject. And if we release them... We can then form a federation, a trade league, and get them into the trade league, has been which forged. is now perfect. Anomaly found. So, uh, let's grab a research agreement with them too, because we want them to be powerful as well. Uh, and it also looks like that tanked our energy credits because of this right here. In society policies, our trade policy is trade league, giving us... Um, the Trade League, 0.5 energy, 0.25 unity, and 0.25 um, consumer goods. Now, we're going to change that back to Wealth Creation because we need the energy credits. 
Granted, we also do need the unity and the consumer goods, but at the point, at the same time, right now, we cannot afford to have our energy literally cut in half um, because of the trade league. So that's what we're going to do right there. Uh, and then we're also going to want to go ahead and put in an envoy. Uh, and we can actually move the one that we had inside of them, and we can get that there. Get that there. So now we're on a federation. Perfect. And what are we voting on exactly? Guardian Angels Act. Um, army upkeep plus five percent. I mean, I, I don't really want to pay more for an army, so no thanks. Uh, also, it looks like we need to go ahead and buy some consumer goods. Thank you, and we'll buy some food too, just in case. But yeah, now this is going to be... Our go-to thing is going to be getting our economy under control. Because we just need basic resources, honestly. We're doing great on on, um, on alloys. And anyone home, death slash rebirth. Fantastic. So another thing that's happened is we just unlocked the ability to reform our government once again. And uh, we can add something to it. So let's see. Starbase capacity plus four. That could really help us out right now because we're in desperate need of things to grab our trade value. Uh, public relations gives us two extra envoys plus an extra 10% diplomatic weight, which would be fantastic. Trade value plus 10%. Branch of office value plus 10%. Franchising. Mm, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with public relations specialists. That way we've got even more of the envoys. And we can actually go ahead and add those envoys to our thing right there. And then we'll go ahead and move you. Yeah, we'll move you there. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to be positive in our stuff. So I've done a couple things in the background, uh, and that is mainly the fact that I changed our expansion status. Uh, our, let's see, our diplomatic stance is mercantile, giving us a uh, plus 25% diplomatic weight from economy, plus 10% trade value, and plus 5 trade protection, which is good. Um, now, because we're making so many alloys, we're being, we can pretty much just float our entire economy on alloys at the moment, or, um, minerals, rather. Um, but we are building new energy districts on the different planets, and we just gotta get these damn things up. Um, just need to be able to get all of the, the good resources that we need. Um, but that's the kleptomani kleptomaniac rats in there. I suppose we could finish that. No, we should not, because once we have the planet in there, yeah, no, that would be a bad idea. Um, it doesn't look like we have any other, any other places for them to go. So let's just go ahead and have you go automatic exploration. Where are you, my friend? You're right there. We're going to need to go ahead and pull the fleet down this way and grab this little mining drone outpost out. We're probably going to go negative in energy once this fleet, uh, once it updates. Oh, almost negative. Holy shoot. And it seems we have finished the anyone home giving us hostile environment adaptation as one of our uh, research options. Perfect. All right. So that one's done. Now, I imagine what we'll go ahead and do is uh, have you go over here, and instead of doing the excavation, just go ahead and assist research for now. Okay, so I don't get these guys. Honestly, I really don't. They make us their rival, worsening our diplomatic relations, okay, lovely, and then they send me this to have a freaking commercial pact. Obviously we're going to do that. Can I use the hostile takeover case of spell I against the Pobelin Stellar Industries? Oh, is it because they have, oh, you know what, I bet you they have commercial pacts, or they have a commercial pact with, um, with them, and they probably have uh, branch offices on them as well. So let's grab ourselves a research agreement, just like that. Complete. And can you please stop being my rival? I mean, come on. Why do you make me your rival? Oh, did they open their borders? Oh my god, they finally opened their borders. Are you finally going to be friends with us, assholes? Alright, so we have a commercial pact with them as well. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this new world, we need to go to... New Bowel Life Seeding. And before our very eyes, splendid, they are most welcome. This world is terraformed from a size 20 Arctic world into a size 20 Gaia world instantaneously. fan freaking tastic Now, we're just going to one, two, three, right there, one, two, three, right there. And then we'll go ahead and plop ourselves down uh, an energy grid. There we go. So just for now, we'll do that. 
Looks like they also want to have um, a, a migration treaty, which is good. Incoming transmission. It's really confusing, honestly. All of these freaking snails, I don't get it. Who are we rivaled with? I don't think we're rivaled with anybody now, right? They have closed borders to everybody else but us. Uh, these guys are not rivaling us. Okay, so they made us the rival, then immediately took it back, which is kind of funny. Uh, these guys, do you want uh, a research agreement with me, possibly? Acceptance, negative 24. We could probably get both of these, honestly, if we just grab ourselves some favors. Although, do we have anything to trade for said favors? Probably not. But are we going to? Yes. Let's see. Volatile moats. How many do we have to give you? Okay, no, I don't want to give them votes, moats then. Uh, do you like money? Is there a possibility of you liking some money? I mean, we don't want to give you all of our money. How's this? That'll work. Okay. Let's grab ourselves uh, one of those. And if I can, which I don't know if I can... Cool, got them both. Okay, so perfect. Now I have everything with them except for favors, and that's totally fine. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, they want to have association status. Yes, come with us, please. Uh, apparently it's failed because of our lovely allies. So this is the first time I've ever done this in a, in a Solaris playthrough. I'm actually putting the hydroponic bays in our space stations. Because we're losing so much food, I figure may as well just put some of it, some of it in space. space. That way we don't need to necessarily have anything else, which I'm excited to see how this works. The asteroid... Wow! We found 50 minor artifacts! Holy shit! Nice! Okay, perfect. That, that was a nice big help. And then finally we have the Kleptomaniac Rats, which is the Rubricator. Uh, the L Cluster, all that good stuff. We're still delving, delving into the secrets. We should finish that up, and we should finish that up as well. We're going to go a couple years without any research, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and have you... Where are you at? You're right there. Let's go ahead and have you just go around and survey some stuff. Also, you there, my friend. I need you to start surveying all of this stuff. Because we want to continue to expand down this way. And just get as much territory as we can. And we'll just continue down that way. Perfect. Things are going well. Economy is coming back. So, just because I can, and because I want to, we're going to turn our capital into a Gaia world. And now we've got four new pops on that planet, which will give us a little bit more food... A little bit of that, and then we're also going to build an administrative um, building there. One right there, and then we can also go ahead and get rid of those. That way we've got that stuff good to go. And uh, let's take a look at our species at the moment. So we've got Seekers, Rackets, New Bowels, and Havarigas, which is fantastic. Uh, especially considering the New Bowels, they like um, Gaia Worlds, but the Rackets like Toon Worlds. Uh-huh. Is that so? So these two have joined uh, hands in together. Star Commerce Federation. Okay. Why is it that every single time I play Stellaris on console, every single empire I play against always gets into a federation against me? Hmm? I have no idea. But I don't like it. Uh, what exactly do the new bowel have? They've got Venerable, Delicious... Slow Breeders, and Communal. That's good. Okay. Nice. Fantastic. We've actually just gone ahead and pacified the Amoebas. So now if we come across any of their systems with Amoebas in it, we won't have to worry about fighting them. Which just takes a whole lot of stress off of me. Now we do need to go ahead and get our consumer goods back under control. Um, our food is back under control. Energy is coming back up to the positives. And, and um, things are going a lot better as far as economy goes. However... Unfortunately, we are indeed at the end of today's episode right here, but I think in the next episode we're going to continue on with our economy, continuing to, to grow, continuing to expand, and making sure that uh, when we go to do the Rubricator uh, dig site, we have what we need in order to defend against what's going to come next. And let me tell you, it's dangerous. So, until next time, this has been Commander Riantium, signing off.